Hello, welcome back. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. That wasn't my intro. If you hadn't noticed, I do have some new shades and I just thought to put them on for today's video for absolutely no reason. So we're just gonna go with it. But basically, for today's video, I thought I would kind of give you guys little ideas that you can do to keep yourself sane throughout this quarantine pandemic that we're in because I know I've been getting bored like crazy I have been getting so blocked for creating videos for you guys like I am so stumped you guys have no idea no creative juice whatsoever in my noggin so maybe giving you guys these ideas will kind of help me out as well I don't know yet we'll see but um, yeah, if you guys are bored like I am and want some ideas on how not to be bored during this pandemic, give this video a thumbs up right now and keep on watching. So I made a little list and came up with a total of 18 things that you could probably do to keep yourself a little bit sane. And some of these things I obviously have done and it has helped a little bit. So I'm just gonna pass it down to you guys. So number one, watch YouTube videos. And if you're getting tired of binging your subscriptions, then explore somebody new. Like for instance, Sam and Colby. They are my biggest obsession, have been since I first discovered them like what, two years ago? Basically they do exploration channels and they have done overnights in like abandoned places or in haunted places. They've dealt with like haunted things and they're just freaking amazing. So if you're looking for something to binge, I would recommend Sam and Colby because they're amazing. Number two, do your makeup if you have makeup. And if not, go buy some makeup and then do your makeup. You seriously don't have to be good at it. You can literally just play around with it and then who knows, maybe you'll create something out of that. Shoot, in the beginning when I first started this YouTube thing, I would always tell you guys, I'm not that much of a makeup person. I don't really care to have full faces of makeup. But you know what? I started buying makeup and I started playing around with it and it's actually very entertaining. So, I mean, if you want something to pass the time, you want to have some fun, knock on that creative side of yourself, do your makeup. Number three, you could probably clean your room. I mean, we're home. There's really not much to be doing. Your room is probably getting all dusty because nothing is being touched or anything. I don't know. Whatever it may be, like just clean your room. Maybe you just want to clean because it's fun to you. Like just clean your room. And this is also coming to me because my room is actually becoming very, uh, Mm, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> so yeah, just clean your room. I know you'll be happy with the end result. Jumping into number four, maybe you could decorate your room. Maybe you have some things that you want to add into your room. Maybe even do a whole room transformation. That's what I've been doing, or at least trying to do with little things that I've been seeing in stores or even on Pinterest. I've been creating Pinterest boards, which is another thing you could do. Number five, there you go. I've been creating Pinterest boards to kind of help me figure out what I want to do with this room. I I have bought a new bed set, I have added a floral wall. I now have some Halloween decorations, which I know don't come for me because it's August and Halloween isn't for another couple of months, but you know what? I really don't care because seeing the little decorations that I have makes me feel so happy and so excited for fall to come because as you guys know, I hate the summer and I prefer fall. So looking at my little fall related decorations, makes me a happy girl. You can also reorganize. If there is a shelf of skincare products or a desk that just has a bunch of junk on it that you've been wanting to reorganize, reorganize it, tidy it up, make it neater. I promise you it's going to be a good thing. Okay? Okay. Another thing you could do is make a playlist. I have probably made like four or five playlists in the last month or so. Some country, some French music. I've made a party playlist, a playlist of all the songs that I have on repeat. Like, it's just playlist after playlist and I'm loving it. You can also draw. I'm not an artist in no way, shape or form, but I promise you, the times that I have been drawing with pops or either by myself, it has been pretty fun. I was looking through some old drawings that I have up in my closet from like middle school I want to say and it just reminds me of how fun it was so I decided to sit down and draw again and let me just say it's not the best but 
I am happy. You don't even have to do like a professional painting or drawing. You can literally just do little doodles or some like abstract kind of thing and it, it'll look amazing. So I mean, let's draw. Knock on that creative side once again. This next one is one that I do every single day. If I don't do this at least once a day, I don't have a good day. And this one is basically karaoke. Music is a big part of my life. It has a special place in my heart. If I don't sing at least once a day or listen to music at least once a day, I will not have a good day. So I recommend it. Just karaoke, have fun. You don't have to be good. You don't have to be professional. Just as long as you're having fun is what really matters. And I promise you, you will feel incredible at the end of it. So. Sing it up, honey. Number nine, play some video games, guys. I highly suggest you play something like Tetris or Pac-Man or Super Mario, something, okay? I promise you, you will have the time of your life. I mean, I'm a good Call of Duty, Mortal Kombat kind of gal, but I mean, if you wanna do something like Tetris or Pac-Man, go for it. I promise you'll have a good time either way. You can also take quizzes, guys. Take those fun little Buzzfeed quizzes. They're silly but they're really fun at the same time. And it just cures your curiosity for some things. Like, I don't know, something random, like what kind of vegetable you would be or what kind of breed of a dog you could be based on your like personality. Like who wouldn't want to know what kind of dog breed they would possibly be? I know I would. I'm very curious about that. <laughs> you can also paint your nails. I mean, like I said, knock on that creativity side in your noggin and get creative when it comes to your nails. It's actually another thing that I found pretty fun because I've been pinning my nails a lot more lately. These ones I actually have to fix, but I had done or attempted like designs a few times and they came out wonky, of course, because I'm no professional, but it was still fun. I don't know, you can create things that you didn't think you could, I don't know. Just, you can paint your nails. What, what's wrong with painting nails? Create new outfits with what you have in your closet. That's something I have been trying to do because I am trying to switch it up with whatever style I can call this. I have no idea. I've been trying to change it up and um, I have no luck yet, but you know what? It's just a start. <laughs> Another thing you could do is binge shows or movies. Currently, I have been binging the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, which I have never seen. And let me just say, I'm on board with the whole Pirates of the Caribbean. I've also been to the ride many, many times. So let me just add that there. <laughs> I have also been binging a lot of horror movies. Recently, it's been the Paranormal Activity movies. Love those, except for Ghost Dimension. Can't do that one. I just felt like that one was extra, so. You can also online shop. That is something I have been doing a lot lately let me just say that i have bought myself some sandals some cute shoes almost dropped my phone bought myself some new work shirts these shades <laughs> bought some new makeup like i have just been at it and i really need to stop because it's not good <laughs> you can also work out i have been back at it with working out i know i have been talking about it for so long, but you know what? I finally found something that has kept me motivated to just keep going. It is this app called Butt and Thighs Workout. No, sorry. The app is called Butt Talks Workout and it's for butt and thigh. And then it also has like things for abs and arms and other stuff, but this app has been helping me so much. Not sponsored, just talking to you guys one-on-one. -on -one. It has been a big help and I am so glad that I found it. I have been at it for a couple of weeks now and I'm just loving it. I am loving everything about it. So I mean, work out. If there's something that you have been wanting to improve, whether it's arms, abs, could be your double chin, could be your thighs, butt, feet even, like, I don't know, just work out. <laughs> it's very refreshing and you'll just be so happy. I know I am. Another thing, have a mini photo shoot, whether it's in your room, outside in your backyard, or your front yard, in your car, in the bathroom, virtually with like FaceTime with a friend or something. Have fun, put a cute outfit on, get your face done, hair all nice and whatever, and just take some pics, have fun, post them on your social media or whatever. That's something I've been wanting to do actually, and I just reminded myself of that, so I might do that. Yeah, I might do that one day. <laughs> Okay, so turns out 
I forgot to charge my camera battery and it just died on me. So we're gonna finish the video with my phone. I thought it was best because we are actually on the last idea. So it only made sense to do it that way rather than wait until my battery was charged enough to film the rest. So anyways, coming to the last idea, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I am. Download TikTok and watch those videos, guys. Took me a while to get on that train, but I'm hooked. So there's that. I have created my TikTok account. I have posted a few TikTok videos. Haven't done any of the dances. I don't really want to get to that level, but I have posted a few TikTok videos myself. And I mean, it's just a good time, guys. It's a good time to have a good laugh. It has become an everyday thing to watch TikTok videos. I will wake up in the morning and go straight to TikTok and will forget that I need to get up and get ready for the day. Sometimes I will forget to use the bathroom because I am that entertained. Like it's, it's a mess guys. It's a mess, but I promise it's a good time. And I think that is about to cover up this whole video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed it. I really hope these ideas were helpful to you. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and throw me a big old thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Comment down below what you have been binging, whether it's a movie series or a show series. Let me know, give me some recommendations. I could really use those because I don't think we're getting out of this pandemic anytime soon. So all the help will count. Make sure those post notifications are turned on so you guys know exactly when I post my videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram because when I am not here, I am over there. Okay, so I thought I'd go ahead and jump on here now that we have made it to the end and I am kind of mentioning my Instagram. Basically, I have deleted my Instagram account, not because I wanted to, more like I had to do it. Long story short, I basically set up my Instagram incorrectly and it interfered with some changes that I wanted to make to it. So the only decision that I had was to delete it and make a new one. So with that, I tried to keep the username as similar as possible because the one that I had obviously I can't claim it until my page is completely deleted so kind of waiting for that to be official and then I will change the username back so for now all I did was a little letter substitute in the username so yeah just wanted to update you guys on that but uh yeah follow me on Instagram I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video bye